down the seven bridges road. So what is it that a band called the Eagles and a Swiss mathematician named Leonard Euler have in common? Stay tuned. All right, so how did graph theory get started? That is a great question. We can give credit to a man named Leonard Euler. Euler lived back, uh, he was a Swiss mathematician that lived back in the, in the uh, middle to late 1700s was when he was doing his work. And he came across a problem. There is this town called Königsberg in Prussia, which is Northern Germany. And that town had this river going through it with a couple of islands. And there was these seven bridges, the seven bridges, the seven bridge problem. And back then, because there was no television or other forms of massive uh, brain numbing entertainment, they actually thought about things. And one of the questions that was always brought up was, is it possible to walk around the town of Cunningsburg and cross each bridge, but only cross each bridge one time? Uh, there's two ways you can go about doing it. You can spend your entire life walking every possible permutation of pathways that deal with the bridges, or you can sat down as Euler did and try to figure it out mathematically. Again, part of the genius of mathematicians is that they take the complex and they symbolize it in such a way to make it really simple. So what he did was he took this illustration and he broke it down and he created four vertices representing the two sides of the river and the two islands. And then each bridge he connected with what we call an edge. And you can see every bridge is represented by an edge. And then he began to work mathematically to try to establish, is it possible to travel each edge once and only once? Because that is the definition of what is called a Euler path. A Euler path is one where you can only, where you can travel an entire circuit of things, but you can only travel on each bridge one time, each edge one time, and that is a Euler path. And what he found out was, in looking at the degree of vertex on each of these, there is three that connect here, three that are there, three that are there, and five that are here. Notice that they are all odd numbers. You can't do it if they're all odd numbers, and that's what Euler discovered. He found out that, in fact, you can only have two odd number vertexes, vertices, and if you only have two, as long as you start on one of the ones that is odd and finish on the other one that is odd, then it is always possible to travel every bridge and do it only once, or every edge, every pathway, and do it only once. So for instance, if we take and we put another bridge here, this now becomes one, two, three, four, and this one becomes four. Now it is possible. The other way, there was no chance we could do it. But now, as long as I start here or there, I can figure out a path to do it. Sketch this down, I challenge you to see if you can figure out how Euler did it. So, moving on from there, there was another man that came about 100 years later, and his name was William Rowan Hamilton. Aye, and he is a very good, um, he's a very, very fantastic uh, Irishman. Hey, he is. He is a fantastic Irish mathematician, in fact, and he lived in the 1800s. It was very good. And to all Irish out there, I apologize for my horrible Irish accent. All right, so what this man discovered where Euler figured out a way, a Euler path, is where you hit each vertex or each pathway at least once, but you can hit a vertex more than once. That's okay. What Hamilton did was he took it one step further 
and doing a different problem. As a matter of fact, he was creating a child's game. Yes, back in the 1800s, a little child's toy involved graph theory and complex ideas of mathematics. That was a child's toy in the 1800s. Although I have to admit, it didn't sell very well, so uh, we don't know. So this guy, Hamilton, what he came up with was the idea of, is it possible to use every vertex exactly once with or without using all of the edges, the connections? And he found out that you can do it in certain circumstances, and those are called Hamilton paths. So in a Euler path, remember, Leonard Euler was the one who started graph theory by trying to solve this problem. Euler said that uh, a Euler pathway is where you hit every edge or every bridge exactly once, and you can use the vertexes, the vertices, multiple times, where Hamilton said uh, a Hamilton pathway is where you only hit each vertex one time, and you might or might not use all of the edges or pathways. These are two special cases of graph theory. So the next time you are planning out your trip to the grocery store or your trip to the uh, to REI to get camping equipment or your trip around town to run errands or maybe you're going Christmas shopping or maybe just maybe you are in charge of setting up a networking system within a small business or maybe your social network that you're doing through Facebook or through LinkedIn or some other area. Can you figure out, are you using Euler pathways or Hamilton pathways, or are you doing something maybe that will one day get named after you? I can't wait to see it. So did you figure it out? The Eagle sang a song about a place with seven bridges, and Leonard Euler solved a riddle about a place with seven bridges. And that is your math musical trivia for the day.